Here I am at the start of the musket marathon. You can see right behind me there, that's the start line. And actually the finish lines and the um, main section where all the baggage check is a little bit further down. So I'm just gonna go ahead there now. It's about 5 a.m. so I've still got an hour and a half till the start. But it's, um, it's my first race where I've had to travel a bit further out so I wanted to make sure there's no problems. So I got here pretty early. But um, got the flippers with me. If you didn't see yesterday's video, just have a click in the top right hand, hand corner. I'll talk about it there a little bit more, but pretty much I need to uh, run under four hours, 30 minutes to get the world record for fastest marathon wearing swim fins. And I'll tape my feet up like crazy. I'll show you later if I get a chance, but uh, you can see especially, especially there, kind of like the top of the foot, I feel it's gonna rub a lot, so kind of taped up all my heels and bottom of my feet and top of my feet so hopefully it won't be too painful when it um, gets a little bit later on in the marathon. So it's already 21 degrees when I checked the weather before or maybe about an hour ago so it's meant to get up to about 25 by the time the race will finish. So hottish. So um, yeah, I say definitely hotter than the last race. So it's going to make things a little bit difficult. But um, I'm going to head over to the race village now and I'll see you a bit later. I, uh, I didn't mention before, but the requirement is that the flip is at double the length of my foot. So when I first heard about this record, I thought it would be easy because some swim fins are um, super short, so I'd be almost like running normally. I tried doing that technique before where I leap up in there, but I put so much pressure on my Achilles. So I'm trying to run more normal now, but I keep catching my toes. So definitely a four over at some stage <laughs> so far I'm keeping up the pace but I have to keep up this pace for 40 more kilometers so it's going to be a massive challenge <laughs> uh, it's a struggle to start but I'm, I'm kind of getting I'm kind of getting used to this now so it's not too bad so I was thinking before 430 is crazy in flippers but I think it's doable now I'm right in the 430 paces so Hopefully I can hang with him to the end and um, get a sprint ahead at the end just to get under 430. I've been mean, running with Buddy here, it's making it a lot easier. I'm he's... helping him take picture every time. <laughs> yeah, he's been awesome. <laughs> he's, done, he's done 90 marathons in his life. So... Oh no, this is my 90th. Oh, this is his 90th. Like, hopefully if I finish. <laughs> and uh, he, he only did one a year for his first five years of running. Yep. And how long have you been running now? Uh, eight, Ten. Years. Oh, eight. eight years. So, yeah. so in three years he's done like... It's only like 85 marathons. So, <laughs> so uh, he's been doing a lot of running in the last few years. So he's going to be in Dubai as well next week with me. So you might see him again. Ah, soon. Just past halfway. I'm about 10 seconds down. You can see the 4:30 pace there, further down. But barely is hanging on right now. So my quads are killing. So it's not a good sign when you're struggling after or well before the last 10k, but we'll see if I can try and hang on here. Oh, almost fell over. I've done that about 20 times, but haven't fallen over yet. And the, the sun is beating down on me. Welcome to winter in the Middle East. Apart from that, the bottom of my feet is sore. The top of my feet is sore, it's kind of digging in just to the top of my foot. Achilles on both legs were a bit sore before, but they're okay. And my IT band, my right leg was sore, but it's okay now. But, uh, I'm struggling. I'm still still in touch with the pacer. Ah, there goes my soloist again. Just hoping I can uh, hang on and firstly, hopefully, I can get the record, and secondly, not do too much damage to my body because 
You shouldn't run on flippers. It's putting so much strain on my feet and my calves. It sucks. I'm about five minutes behind where I need to be. So I missed, missed the sign at 26 kilometres, so I had to, to run back a few hundred metres and take the photo there. And now the, I can't even see the paces anymore, so I really have to dig in now and try to go as fast as I can for the next 14 kilometres and hope I can squeak under 4.30. This is the worst day of my life. I'm admitting defeat. Got nine kilometres to go. I need to be going like under six kilometres now. I'm struggling to do seven right now, so I'm getting worse. But uh, I still have the one world record this can go towards, so the fastest, I um, know, oh sorry, the uh, most different countries to run a marathon in one year. So all after was finished for that. So I've got six hours. But uh, hopefully I can do it under five. Um, yeah, this sucks. That's brutal. I need to drink more because there's only eight stations every five kilometres, so I should have maybe carried a bottle with me from one of them and drank it. Because right at this pace, I'm only drinking at like every 32 or 33 minutes. And when the sun comes out like this, you need to be like constantly drinking small amounts, not like drinking a huge amount every aid station. Which what I was doing, I was just trying to catch up and throw down as much sport drinking water as I could. It's a struggle. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the finish. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this record again. Unfinished business, I can't. I was looking forward to uh, getting rid of these flippers. I never wanna see flippers again, but I have to give this another crack. I know I can, uh, I can get there. Maybe uh, Seville, I think, will be a bit cooler weather and it's flat as well. And I just have to get used to running like this, like my like quads are taking a pounding. So I think trying to get some hill work in to strengthen them up and if I can get used to these flippers. All right, eight kilometers to go. I'm going like 15 kilometers an hour right now, so. I keep on going like this. So it's gonna take me two hours. It's gonna be like 5.50, so. I, I, wanna, I don't wanna take that long to get to finish, so I'm gonna dig in and try and run a bit. And hopefully get there as soon as possible. Get lots of food and water. I'm so thirsty. All right, I'll at least try and run to the aid station. I think that's a cool meter. See how we go. All right, we're almost at 37k, so the sign's just down there, so I don't know, 100, 200 metres away. So I need to run just under 8 minute kilometres to get under 5, so once I get to the sign, we're going to give it a crack and I'll see how far I can run. Now, this is a definition of death march. As I said before, like, I could have, I could have paced myself a bit, because uh, they say every minute you go too fast in the first half of the race you go two minutes slower in the second half so I could have maybe pace myself and got 440 or something or 445 but that's pointless like there's, there's either get the record at under 430 or blow up trying or saying but Sahel and Salim are on the way to the finish line with as much support as possible from as many people as possible he is running through the air you are deafening me well done congratulations push 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 and that's what I call a finish oh man, I'm so sore I'm trying to stretch whatever this is here like side of my quad yeah I'm kind of 
putting it back up to my butt cheek, but I can't, like, every time I pull it back, it just cramps like crazy on both legs. <laughs> it's difficult, but I'm going to show you how much taping I put on. Uh, even that cramps. Oh. So here we go. I put, my kiwis is kind of sore, so I can't put them back to that, but put it around here to uh, stop the rub rubbing of the back of the fin and then the side and then oh, cramping up like crazy yeah then uh, here as well this is the this is the bit I was worried about because this bit here but uh it turned out alright like I've got the same another leg I'm I've got this uh, thing for my Achilles it seems to work pretty well I haven't, it hasn't felt too bad. Uh, um, yeah, that's, that's the one which has been sore for like six months, but the other one was the one I was talking about recently, but uh, yeah, I've got, kind of got the same taping on my other foot. But uh, yeah, the thing which really sucked was the blow of my feet. Like I got, got some tape there as well, but yeah, that's not enough. Like, uh, Whenever I give this another crack, I'm definitely going to put insoles in. They'll make a big difference. I was never here close today anyway, but for the next attempt, it's definitely going to make a difference. I've got to. I'm hoping they got a. Free massage and offer here like they do at some races. I really need it right now. If not, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and foam roll like crazy. Here's one of my fans. Say hello. Yeah, high five. No? Ah, uh, I oh no, I scared him off. So uh, definitely don't let me babysit your kids. They'll be scarred for life. Uh, so just an interview. These guys over here. With, uh, with the race, so I will, I'll link that um, probably on Facebook, I'll send a link out when I find out where they're putting the, uh, I think they might be doing an article and a video, so uh, yeah, I'll definitely let you all know when that happens, but definitely feeling it now. So, I'm not sure what my exact time was, I always forget to stop my watch at the end, but I think it's like 5.10, 5.12 or something like that, so way off what I needed, but can have another cracks later later on down the road as I said like I was I screwed up and I missed the 26 kilometer uh, marker where I had to take a photo so I had to run back a few hundred meters take a photo he run back to where I was so lost a few minutes there obviously it didn't matter in the end because it was so far off but I mean like if I can manage not to do that and do a cool race instead of like keeping the pace I needed to, what, maybe 32, 33 kilometers. I think I've got a chance of uh, keeping up to a 42, but we're gonna do some other records in the meantime. So next week in Dubai, that's gonna be a fun one. So I've got uh, actually quite a few things coming up during the week. They're, uh, they're making a video about the race, so they're gonna get me involved in that. And then I'm doing a radio interview as well on, I think it's Tuesday. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll keep you on touch that. Anyway, there's pre vlog vlogs pretty much every day, so check those out. And uh, I'm gonna go put my feet up now. Looking forward to a lie down, and uh, there's a lot going on here. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can find some freebies. Uh, I bumped into this guy again, this is Nick. If you didn't see the video with him uh, from Doha, I'll link it up the top here, but um, how do you go today? Uh, just under 5, I think it's 5.27. Okay. And this crazy man, so you're going back to England, is it early yeah. morning, just after midnight? 1.40 flight, uh, Saturday morning, and then I get a run in England at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. But it's not any runs in Ulster, is it? It's a 50, 50k. 50k, so backing up a 40, 42k was just a warm up. So uh, good luck for tomorrow. Alright, thanks. <laughs> good luck to you. Cheers. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my struggle today. My next race is one week from now, so it's Friday in Dubai. I'm going to do, um, be wearing another really cool costume, but I get to wear running shoes this time, so really looking forward to that. 
But um, if you haven't already, subscribe below and comment as well. Let me know what more record you'd like to see me break next.